Hey guys, this is Jason from Warrior Culture Gear, and this is your Warrior Report for May 20th, 2020. Just wanted to start off this Warrior Report very similar to the way I started off one a few weeks ago with a PSA entitled, Don't Be a Dick. Instead, this is part two. Because I feel like I have to reiterate this uh, for maybe some of the new folks who have ordered from us or the people in the back that just didn't hear it. One of the things that we are very big on here at Warrior Culture Gear is common courtesy. Now, we understand that there is a wait time for people's orders. We try and explain that as best we can. It's all over our website, whether that's in the frequently asked questions or in the posts that we have on every single one of the shirts that is up for pre-sale. There is a production date that we try to hold to as best as we possibly can. And in normal circumstances, we totally would. Having said that, these are not normal circumstances. Over the past two and a half months, there has been a global pandemic. Uh, this has caused states all across the United States to shut down. That in and of itself creates a huge supply chain issue. Now, we stayed open, obviously, and we continued to push through. We explained as we were continuing to stay open that there may be issues and there may be backups. This was totally the case because throughout the course of weeks and or months, we realized very quickly uh, that there were a lot of businesses that did not stay open for one reason or another. And it caused us delays. Now, we've adjusted our timeline and our time scale after uh, having to uh, let go of a few people uh, on our own to manage our own budget and make sure that we could make it through this as well. Now, again, having reiterated all of that for what seems like the umpteenth time, I want to say to you guys that I understand that there are a lot of frustrations out there. There's a lot of frustrating things going on. People are in their homes for way too long. Uh, they can't get out. Uh, some people are dealing with the illness. Some people are dealing with the effects of it, so on and so forth. And everything is compounding. We totally understand that. We are here, but we also have personal lives as well. The one thing that I will not tolerate, and I've said it over and over again, is any kind of emails and or posts abusing any one of my staff members or my team in general. If you don't want to wait for your order, one, don't order. Two, ask us for a refund. I have no problem with that. If you didn't realize that the order was going to take that long or you just didn't read and it's taking longer than you think, we'll give your money back. We don't want your money if it causes an issue for you. It's, it's pretty simple. And if there is an email and or a post on a social media link and or anything on the page that I deem to be, you know, like, look, you know, my team's in here busting their ass over and over and over again, and you're gonna get snarky and sarcastic and try and cause some sort of social media blow up, you're gone. Um, if you send an email where you're trying to cuss out my customer service, which is basically me and one other person who is working from home, you're gone. Your email will be, or I'm sorry, your order will be refunded. Uh, we do not go by the premise that the customer is always right. Um, it's a case-by-case -case basis. We screw up, we are the first ones to admit it, and we will 100% take care of you. If it's a matter of you being impatient and trying to take that out on us or take it out on any one of my staff members, you're out. It's that simple. I want to reiterate this because it is so very important to me and to everyone in my shop. Don't be a dick. You wouldn't say it to my face, you wouldn't say it to any one of these other people's faces. Don't think that you can email it or post it on, on social media 
because that makes you a tough guy or it makes you a tough girl or it makes you whatever. It makes you look like an idiot. And I'm just saying that right out because that's the God's honest truth. That's how I see it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's my PSA for today. Now, on to more of the important things that are going on here at Warrior Culture Gear. One, we have a 25% off sale that's going on right now. It's our seventh annual. It's the longest tenured sale we've ever had. Um, it, we do it every single year. It's a seventh annual Memorial Day sale, and it's on right now. It goes all week, and it stops Sunday night because we don't want to drag that out into Memorial Day when you should be out utilizing your time on Memorial Day to pay your respects to the veterans of this great country um, and those who obviously paid the, uh, the ultimate price uh, for our freedoms. So the code is HONOR25. It's right here somewhere. Uh, that is on site right now. Again, all orders over 50 bucks ship free always. Um, and we have a bunch of new stuff that's up on the site right now. Uh, one being the new uh, cap and uh, winter or the winter soldier um, design, uh, the end of the line. Uh, we also have a new fight club design out. We have a bunch of final run prints that we have up um, that a lot of people are really into. Uh, we have the regulators. We have our uh, Hue Glass or the Revenant design. There's a lot of stuff on site right now that you guys can take advantage of. Uh, so make sure you use that 25% off code and do that. Now, on to what's being printed here in the shop this week. Uh, some of the things that you'll see in the email and or on YouTube are uh, the RPD that is shipping right now, Gangs of New York, that is shipping right now, and that includes singular orders and batched orders of the two. Uh, He-Man is printing and shipping. Uh, Going Home is printing and shipping. Gandalf, printing and shipping. Now this is all through the week. Uh, 28, uh, printing and shipping. The cap design, which is ridiculously um, <laughs> clogging up everything that we've, we've done. There's probably six or 700 pieces um, that is actually halfway done. Uh, we'll finish it up tomorrow. That'll be going out as well. Uh, the Crow, Robocop, Ghostbusters, and Terminator all will be printing and shipping as well. Um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the Dr. Jones, and the Black Knight, we are working to get those out as quickly as we can. We were hoping to get those done before the end of the week. We're still hoping that. So right as of right now, they're in production. That could change and we can get them out as quickly as we can. Um, on top of that, the Deuce Volt, that is also in production. We're trying to get that finished up as well, as well as the Jerusalem Cross and the four packs that we're starting to uh, get together and ship out for you guys. Uh, we also have the uh, Horsemen and the Viking Gods. Those are all separated and set aside. St. Michael and the uh, Defend Us, again, all in the shop, set aside and ready to get on press. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of opportunity. There's just a sheer volume of work that has to be done between the three of us. And we are doing every single thing we possibly can to get it done as quickly as possible. Now, we also have Under Armour stuff that is on its way to us. Uh, beanies, finally, are being shipped. And short and long sleeve shirts, which include the three or the uh, quarter zip uh, that are going out as well. The hoodies, supposed to be shipping early next week. I'll let you guys know. The Mandalorian mugs. They are in production right now in uh, Wisconsin, and they're being done. Lucy TA for those right now um, is mid-June. I know it's been a long time, guys. Uh, this was plan B we had to implement, but I'm going to tell you right now, there is a waiting list for this. If you decide to cancel, you can't come back in and say, I want another one because they're all spoken for. Every single one of them is spoken for if you decide to cancel. That's how many people want these mugs. And I can tell you they're going to be phenomenal. And your patience will be paid off. I promise you that. Um, on top of that, guys, we also have the tumblers. We finally have an ETA on those. They are about a week out right now. So they should be here after Memorial Day. Um, on top of everything else, I want to say to all of you out there who are still dealing uh, with the effects and the after effects of uh, the the, uh, the shutdowns and the uh, closures, the quarantines, the lockdown, you name it, 
Um, I just want to say, because I've seen quite a few small businesses that are starting to fold, and I see a lot of people that are having a really, really hard time. Please keep your heads up. Please stay motivated and make sure that you know, one, this is not your fault. You, this is not of your doing. And two, you can pick yourself back up and you can absolutely crush this going forward. Turn this into something positive. I know it doesn't seem that way right now, but it can be. So please do not fall into that hole of feeling bad for yourself, feeling sorry for yourself. Look at it as a way to start over. Again, I know it's hard. It sounds easy coming from someone who was able to just push right through and keep grinding. But believe me, the grind continues no matter what. We could lose everything within the next few months and it wouldn't make a difference at all that we were open during this whole thing. So again, make sure that you stay positive and stay motivated throughout all of this. And that goes for every single one of you guys. Now, we're gonna shut down our shop on Friday at 5 p.m. It's what we always do. We will be off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. You will still see things from us on our Instagram page. Make sure you're following that. Make sure you guys see exactly what's going on at our shop over the next few days. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. No matter what, I hope you are able to get out, pay your respects, hopefully see family members, and just get out and enjoy your freedom. Uh, do the best you can to do that. Um, I hope everyone stays safe, stays healthy, and we will be back on Facebook tomorrow to give you an update in real time of what's going on at the shop. Guys, um, happy Memorial Day. Make sure you understand and you, uh, you know, um, utilize that day for what it is, and that's to pay respects. Um, you know, whether that you did serve, whether you have someone who served, uh, someone who, you know, and your family that's, uh, you know, paid the ultimate price and so on and so forth. Um, make sure you're using that time wisely. Um, that's all I've got for this week here at Warrior Culture Gear. Uh, we're going to continue to grind and continue to push through. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best. And uh, we will be back again next Wednesday. And we'll see you guys then.